grooming young girls for her son and his football friends. That is one of the new allegations made by concerned parents against the Los Gatos mom accused of throwing those booze-filled sex parties for South Bay kids. It's a story you'll see only on NBC Bay Area tonight. Our investigative reporter Candace Wynn joins us now. And Candace, I know you got some internal emails revealing some of the first allegations about Shannon O'Connor. That's right, Jess. The emails we obtained through public records requests reveal at least two parents warned Los Gatos High School about Shannon O'Connor as far back as a year ago. The school reported the accusations to police, but according to prosecutors, O'Connor continued to put more children in danger for months. The first complaint about Shannon O'Connor to Los Gatos High School came from a parent in December 2020, according to internal school emails obtained exclusively by the investigative unit. Shannon Bruga, or O'Connor, buys alcohol for teenagers. My daughter overdosed on edibles. Then interim principal Paul Robinson responded the same day. We will follow up on this and inform the police. Two months later, February 17th, a different parent sent an assistant principal a detailed multi-page email saying she had just filed a police report alleging criminal contact by O'Connor with her child and at least five other 14-year-old girls, as well as at least one Fisher Middle School student. The parent said O'Connor groomed, befriended, and influenced these girls, procuring them for her son and his friends, mostly Los Gatos High School football players. Shortly after, Principal Robinson changed a female student's schedule so she could avoid two male students. He told his staff, this is another one of those out-of-school things that everyone expects us to discipline for. Robinson emailed the police officer saying, most of this is for the police department to deal with. This has gotten way out of hand. I think school officials are, are, are well within reason to say, you know, we referred this to police because it's a police matter. It was happening outside of school control. Brett Sokolow is the president of Atixia, the association of Title IX administrators. Title IX is a law prohibiting sex discrimination at federally funded schools. Could the school have, have done more? Um, you know, it, it, when these things blow up, they're always bigger in retrospect than they appear to be at the time. It was, according to the parent behind the latest report. On March 18th, the parent told the school about O'Connor allowing an underage teen to drive her SUV on school property. A boy allegedly fell off the car, hit his head, and was vomiting for days with a concussion. Principal Robinson responded to his staff, police are already involved in the complaint. Their detectives have this case. Robinson's own chief of student support services appears to correct him, saying, no, this is our own internal processes regarding claims of code conduct violations. Robinson is no longer interim principal of Los Gatos High. In July, Kevin Buchanan took the job. When Shannon O'Connor was arrested in October, Buchanan responded to an inquiring parent, I was unaware of the entire situation until today. The schools are, are really fighting a, a battle on two fronts right now, right? There are a lot of parents who want schools to back out of parental responsibilities. The same parents turn around and, and say to the school, well, why aren't you dealing with this? And, and the school says, well, it's outside of our boundaries. It's outside of our jurisdiction. O'Connor is facing 39 felony and misdemeanor charges, including child endangerment and sexual battery. Not all of the allegations in these emails are part of those charges. She has yet to enter a plea in court and has not responded to our attempts to reach her. Uh, Candace, six months is a long time between when that first parent complaint came in to when O'Connor was arrested. Isn't there concern for what happened in between? Absolutely, there is concern, Jess. During that time, prosecutors say O'Connor endangered children at least two more times. We reached out to the DA's office. The DA's office told me today it took all summer and fall for police officers to interview everyone, get enough evidence for it so they can prove it in court. And Jess, I do want to add, just minutes ago, I re received a statement from Los Gatos High School saying that they never hesitated to report these issues to police. Okay, Candace, thank you very much. I'm sure we'll keep on following this.